passed away, behold, the new has come. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, 17. And what we have to say tonight is about how God is working with Liberty Ministries, through Liberty Ministries, to work with men who are new in Christ, who are new creations. All of us who are Christians are new creations. This is a good thing. It's something that only God can do. What we are to do as a ministry is to help men and women in that program, in that progress, from being baby Christians to being mature Christians. That's what we are here to do. So if you look at our program, it's also in there, it talks about the different aspects of our program. We're doing this by uh, sharing the good news uh, in prisons and also in our ministry and outside the ministry. How do we do that? The first one is we have a prison and volunteer program. And with that, uh, Steve Pondaway leads that part of our program. He does prison Bible studies, chapel services, and mentoring are done. We have 143, 143 volunteers who go into Montgomery County Correctional Facility and Greaterford State Correctional Facility we have over 30 Bible studies and chapel services a week in all these places. This is a lot of activity going on, a lot of people who are giving their time to go into the prisons and share this good news. How, how is it that you can be a new person in Christ? That's what we do. We are showing the mates how, what it means, what it means to be in Christ. What do we do with that as new creations? The residential program is headed by Jonathan <coughs> Lewis. I'm got my voice back here. Jonathan Lewis and our residential program, if you haven't seen it, it's on 565 Main Street in downtown Schwinksville. Not to be confused with the suburbs of Schwinksville. <laughs> but downtown Schwinksville. And um, right on Main Street, and if you may have driven past it in the last year, we finally finished 
the complete stucco renovation of the building. Thank you. It, it took over five years, but it looks fantastic. But our program in the house is dedicated, again, to bringing disciples of Christ uh, and working through our discipleship program. We're trying to grow men, grow men in Christ. We're not just a place for people to go and live. This is a difficult program. People come to our program and find out that they really do need the Lord to get through our program. <laughs> and that's good, because we all need the Lord, don't we? And that's what we do. And we do that in the free house, we do that in prison, we do that in the thrift stores. Which brings us to our next part of our ministry, which is the thrift stores. That's headed up by Brian Jones. And they are providing the community with affordable clothing and furnishings. Lots of things that they do. This is part of our ministry. They also supply a great deal of funding for the ministry, which is fantastic as well. And we thank all the employees who are doing all this work. Uh, and these are not your usual retail employees, because these employees love the Lord Jesus Christ, and they're there to minister to those customers who come in, and to minister to those people in their communities as well, and share the good news of Jesus Christ with them. This is a unique thing about our retail stores, the first stores that Liberty Ministry has. And we thank you for your patronage. One of the parts of our ministry that is not recognized very much is we see the prison ministry, we see the volunteers, we see the thrift stores, but we have another part of our ministry called the operations branch, and that's headed up by Elliot Bennett. And he does those things that are underappreciated by most people, but they're very important, like insurance, insurance that we all need. Uh, he takes care of those things, insurance, payroll, employee handbook, operations manual, evacuations procedures, and OSHA regulations. That's what he does. Those are important parts of the ministry also. In fact, one of the things he did this year was save us about $17,000 by working with a different way of doing our insurance, a different company. So this was a great help to that. It's at $17,000 more that we can spend on ministry rather than spending on, on premiums. Saving money is really good, too. Um, so, that's what we've been doing. Here's some things that we've been doing that we're also going to continue to do and some new things that we look forward to doing. Our vision. Um, first of all, we've been working more with local ministries. Liberty Ministries is not the only prison ministry. Uh, there are many other prison ministries around here. Life Abundant, which works in Bucks County, Christian Life Center, more in Center City or in the city, God's Treasure House, Why Not Prosper, Kainos House, Yoke Fellowship, and We Care. These are all other ministries that work with inmates in prison and those who have been released. We are not in competition with other ministries. We are looking for allies. We are working with other ministries because we all have the same goal. And that goal is what? To help those who are new in Christ and to help them as a new creation. Christ, to be disciple of those men, discipling those men, and teaching them, and, and bringing people to Christ. That's what we do, men and women. Another part of our ministry that's been growing is we've been doing more activities in local churches, going to their mission days uh, meetings and sharing the ministry that we do, so they know about our ministry, about prisons, about liberty ministries as well. We also have been going to more symposiums and conferences where we work with other ministries, meet other, other ministries, and learn and grow from them, and they learn and grow from us. So we've been doing more of that. We're continuing to do that, too, because we need to learn more about ministry to do it better. We also, this year, did something new, which I think a lot of you are probably aware of. Uh, we had uh, camp scholarships for children who are children of inmates and also those who have been released, men who have been in our program, and, and women as well. We had a tremendous, tremendous reception of this. This was headed up 
by Kevin Jones, and he basically took care of this whole thing, and we raised a lot of money to do this. Uh, he took, even drove children up to Camp Middleland uh, in part of this ministry as well. So that's something we had never done before. We plan to do more things like that. Anything that we can do as a ministry regarding uh, men who have been incarcerated, men and women who have been incarcerated. Also, one of the things we do coming up in December is going to be the time when we go and deliver Christmas bags into Montgomery County uh, Prison. And that is a big deal. We have 1,800 uh, bags that we deliver. Uh, we have to put all of those together, and on the back of your program that you see, you'll see a picture of how many volunteers it takes just to just to put all the bags together, all the items, and the items are out on the table if somebody hasn't gotten them. But there's food and all, there's a lot of things that go into this bag that we give out in prison, and uh, that's a great joy for those who do it every year, and also the inmates, and it's a great opportunity to share the gospel with people who no, normally do not come to the chapel services at Montgomery County. So we appreciate your prayers for all that we do and have been doing. A couple of new things that we're going to be doing uh, this in 2013 is, one is uh, we're going to have a program called TUMI, which is a theological urban, or the Urban Ministry Institute, the Urban Ministry Institute, TUMI, it's called. And it is a college level course that we're going to be offering to the men in our program that it's a four year program. It basically prepares a man to be a pastor without an undergraduate degree and able to go into urban ministry or any kind of ministry wherever he's called to be a pastor. It's a four year program. It's a serious program, but it's something that we feel called to do. We're one of 93 Atumi uh, institutes in the whole United States, in the whole world, actually, 93 of them. And we've been chosen to be one of those places that can do this program. So we're quite, we're looking forward to that. We're quite proud of Steve Pogway and putting that together. So if you have questions, you can ask Steve about it. We've also um, done one more thing. We're changing our program from a nine-month program for phase one to a, a full one-year program. That's going to give us more time for discipleship, more time to teach men. That's what we want to do. That's what our ministry is. And then we'll have phase two, which will be a full two years. So three years that we can pour into the life of a man who's really sincerely dedicated to changing his life to be more like Christ. And we are dedicated to discipling that man and the women in the prison. And so we thank you for all your support especially your prayer support that you've given us. Because we're in spiritual warfare in this ministry. It's something that's quite evident. Uh, we see this every day. And it's something that we really covet your prayers. So I just wanted to thank you all for attending tonight. And uh, we look forward to the rest of the program. And we'll have some great testimonies to see how God has been working in, in people's lives to bring them to Christ, to 